Fail to get out of the range. So as long as they don't get bursted down too hard, they should be able to win the team fights. On the other side for Millennium, if Kerb gets a good Requiem and damage down, I really because Kerb is level 8, so you can't afford to blindly trade and not think about that Requiem because it will kill you. It's fairly low level, uh, low damage at this level, uh, around 290 on that Requiem before resistance has come into play. So whenever you see anybody's hit bars going around that 200 mark, you need to start getting nervous. Oh, he's in flash. trouble. No flash. We expected it to come back to this lane and it will do. And it's missed. Yes. Until, obviously, Mr. Raw's backed a moment or two ago. I know, and we saw Maima go low in the top where you would have felt that a dive with Irelia and Lee Sin might actually be possible. Kevin already taking a big hit here. He's going to try and be brought into it. There is the Repel coming in, and Impaler not really timing that one as amazing as he wants it to. There's the kickback onto Impaler. He's going to go down. Here comes Requiem as well. Maima goes low from safety as Maima may be the target. So Mr. Rolls is not running lifesteal on his Runes of Masteries. He's just got the 6% from both of those Dorans. We'll talk about that as Mime has been dove. Yeah, no flash. Nothing to get away from this one. He's just oh. going to look to try and kill off Kornex, who dumps in, jumps back out, and Kevin with an auto attack will finish off the kill. Very patient play by... He's moving in on Selfie. And this could be a two-on-one in just a moment. Oh, Wall of Pain going down there. Can they lock Selfie up? He just goes dancing through half the minion wave and loses about half of his HP. And now they're going to go for Kevin once again. Camping on that top lane. Kevin just going to dive in there. There is the barrel coming off. And it's a point-blank range cocoon. Belly slams him against the wall. Kevin will go down. And Impaler gets his first kill. For Mr. Rawls using his flash after he was hugged before by J. Reed. Which means that they're naturally playing a little bit more defensive here. And we'll be sat back. What's Selfie going to do? He's actually going to dash straight in towards Kerb. May even be going for this one. Exhaust goes down. Kerb is still pretty low. Tower hit there. And Kerb just flashes away from it. Oh, Selfie flashes in and gets the kill. You know, Kerb is a champion that we used to see a whole lot. We don't see all that often. So 1v2. Can Selfie get a double knockup? That's what's going to help him, and he may even actually go aggressive if he does. Well, double or no knock up there from that one. He's actually running rings around Millennium. He's got Kevin now chasing him as well. Layway's going to be coming in. Cottonex, can he actually land it? He dashes off to the minion. He's free. He's home free. Not going to go down. They're and now they're going to turn it around. Going towards Cottonex. Cocoon land. Cottonex does go down. And Selfie in the back still alive. Here comes Gregas as well. Well, knock away. Complain. Not much damage going down overall, though. It's Mima that was on the bad end of that stick, if you like, down to half HP. But we see both teams have been quite happy to stack up somewhat in this middle lane. They sent their mid laners down towards the bottom side of the map. There's the hook onto Impaler. He's going to repel, but he's not going anywhere, or is he? He flashes out as he hits Requiem the ground. Him. And there is a Requiem, and there is the death. Kerb getting another kill. That was a good wind wall to stop the hook. Yeah, but the problem is, it cost a flash from Kasing. The wind wall came up, and Kasing still insta-flashed in fear of it connecting. Uh, Impaler needed to get away from that hook. Oh. 1v1, you talked on how Kevin was beating Mimer a moment or two ago. That is the Trinity Force plus Giant's Belt. Uh, Mimer's built pure AP. He's a mage. Oh. He's not over. <laughs> that was amazing stuff from Selfie. Can he get any more Kerb? Actually going pretty low because he's tanking up the tower this entire time. There's the binding onto Creighton. They turn it around. Kevin diving in. Gets himself one. Will be finished off by Mr. Ross though. Who Using his smite there as well, but to no avail. Second out of three for Millennium. We see that gold lead that was well and truly with the support Quill. He's really come back, and now they've caught out Impaler on the top side. They're going to try and burst him down, but he will repel. A good barrel comes out of Gregus, but Mimer getting hooked into it as well. Comes right in the middle. That's exactly what the support crew needed to avoid. Mimer will actually survive on the bottom side, and Mr. Ross turns it around the thick of things. Gragas needs to get in melee, much like Impaler in spider form, to sink those fangs. And that's exactly where Millennium wants them. Now this is 2v1. We'll see if Mime can get away. He's got no flash. Well, he's thrown his ultimate here already. And that may just be bad news. Scrying off going to be used. And it's Creatin that will be able to finish it off. Meanwhile, Kevin also being caught out on the bottom side of the jungle. With the disengage threat, uh, with the disengage that Tristana and Morgana have, uh, it's very difficult for Millennium to stick to the three of them wherever they roam. And because Selfie can basically 1v1 anyone, oh. they've got caught next. Yeah, he's going to get caught up here with everything that they've got. Trying to get away to the ward. Selfie, though, going to go towards Corky. Didn't quite catch on to Creatin, but...
Yeah, I mean Tristana in there, Static Shiv Infinity Edge, you've got Yasuo as well. You see how fast they strip that Baron down, there's the Wind Wall coming up again from Selfie. Possibly showing us once again why you ban away that champion. There's a flash play. Can they actually lock him up? An early flash on Selfie. He'll be chased through though. That's a good strong kill for Millennium. They might try and push back. We've seen two Requiems. Two or three, basically, in a 33 minute game. The opportunities have not been presented for Millennium to take advantage. All we're going to see here, Selfie is going to go on to curve. There is the one crit that he's looking for, but he's trying to lock him up with this one. Ultimate comes out. There is the kill on to curve, and Selfie will finally go down. In fact, the Super Hot Crew joining him with a lot of people. Requiem this time is going to be going off, but didn't really do all that much. And now they've managed to lock up Kevin. Mr. Ross turns around. A lot of damage from him. Kasing's ultimate is running as well. Kevin flashes last second. Impaler will chase him with a hook from Jay Ree. I'm not sure he's going to save him because of the dark binding there. They were half heartedly sieging, but no death sentence connected. The wave flip of Tupac is good. They're going to dive selfie. This yeah. is a good play. Yeah, this is exactly the play that they were maybe looking for. He's trying to stay behind his wind wall there. They've got enough health to dive in, but he's walking through the minions. He's surely going to go down. No, he's not. Here comes the rest of the team. Kevin will actually fall first. Requiem does come through to get one kill. Well, it's two men down for Millennium and the Super crew chasing. Here comes Kurt from the side, though. He flashes on top of them. Exhaust going to be used. He is going to go down, and he's still doing a little bit of damage, but they've lost two more. He's still got a lot of damage. He's still bought all the time that his team needed. And we'll see. Baron started. Ultimates mostly available for Super Haku, but they're going to be arriving actually a little sooner. We'll see if they're going to go engaging. This is surely all or nothing. The knockup doesn't quite land on Takuka Cocoon does, but there is a Baron picked up, stolen away by the Super Hot Crew. And that was amazing from Impaler. And now they just turn on to Millennium, get two quick kills. Get Fantastic fight. We talked about the AoE and how Super Crew did not want to be grouped up for Curb's damage, while Millennium sure as hell did not want to be grouped up for Selfie's damage. They've done it. Super Crew picked up the first one they need for that potential third place tiebreaker. Brilliant victory there. It was a tough and a long game for them, actually. 48 minutes, let's call it.